them back and they're not really watching and you can actually although you've got like a view of 50 viewers sometimes watching you play a game or some of these characters casting they're not really watching for the caster they're watching because there's nothing else no other channels watching that particular game mm -hmm. and if as soon as a professional comes along and starts doing it everyone goes there as soon as they find out that there's someone there they, they go there. there's no loyalty because they're not actually watching this person for their personality they're watching it because of the game and that's why you can tell like day nine whenever he plays anything he gets 12,000 13,000 viewers sorry anything <laughs> not StarCraft. He's a StarCraft 2 professional caster. Yes. He played Slender and had 13,000 people watching him scream whenever <laughs> Slender turned up. Slender Man turned up. Right? That was hilarious. And I was watching it at 3 in the morning. 3 <laughs> in the morning watching Day9 scream like a little girl at Slender. What? What? <laughs> you know, what's that about? He's not even doing the game that he's famous for. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the personality that you need to drill in. And he didn't get that overnight. Do you know what he did? Um, he started doing stand-up uh, comedian himself. Not only did he watch it, he studied it, he then started doing it. He put himself out there in positions for other people to literally live laugh at him. Laugh at him while he's actually there. It's not just a camera, it's people actually laughing at him. And he got through that embarrassment so he could stand up in the middle of somewhere, say something stupid, people would laugh at him, and he can sit down without feeling like a total tool. If you get to that stage, well, talking to a camera is no problem because you pretend you're talking to real people. Because you are talking to real people. You're not talking to a little camera, you're talking to really good, real, lovely people. Like the 20 people we've got watching, hello. <laughs> you're really cool people that we love and appreciate because you're real people. You're not a number. You're not just some random person. You're someone that we appreciate that watches the stream and it's freaking awesome. So. That's the difference between a professional caster and someone who's just talking in his bedroom and is bored playing a computer game. I played music live for seven years with a band, and that's where I got my practice. I watched a lot of um, uh, stand-up comedi stand comedians, and at parties, if no one's talking, I start talking. I start talking about stories. I make up something that's talked in the news and make it interesting, and I try and get the conversation going. I become the center of the attention, and I get laughed at a lot. I, I make jokes because I like making sure that everyone is entertained, even if it's not my party. I become mm -hmm. the center of the attention, and I go like, hey guys, let's do this, and random thing, absolutely, and I give a story. I have people in stitches talking about, right, I played Fallout 3. Okay. I never played <laughs> consoles. I played Fallout 3, and my friends love Fallout 3. And I was the sort of guy that was a role player. So I did Fallout 3. If any of you played Fallout 3, any of you played Fallout 3, <laughs> right? It's a game that you're meant to, it's like, you're meant to leave the, the bunker, go to this thing called Megaton, and then yep. do the tutorial in this town. Do you know what I did? What? I was so interested, so super interested in where my dad was, the main storyline, yeah. that I skipped the town as fast as possible and legged it after my dad, thinking that's time critical, got to get to my dad. Ended <laughs> up in DC, in the middle of DC, fighting super mutants with miniguns at level three, with a base <laughs> And I was winning. You were yeah? winning? It took me half an hour to fight one enemy because they had so much HP and I, I had no skill whatsoever. I had melee skill of like 66 and it was my only skill that was high. My pistol skill was like 22 because I was a mechanic, right? Mm -hmm. And I was doing it. And then I, was, I go to my friends and I talk to them about how bad this game is. It's so unbalanced and that. And they're like, well, what are you? I was like, I'm in the middle of DC. And they're like, what level are you? I was like, three. And I'm like, what? And I was like <laughs> ranting about this game going, it's fucking stupid. I'm there in my cowboy hat and bloody glasses with a baseball bat. Taking all those super with a minigun. And I killed this guy with a minigun. I opened the door and a guy with a rock and you blew me the fuck up and they're like what <laughs> and i was like this game sucks and they're like you're just you're playing it wrong i was like playing it wrong i'm playing a game wrong what 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 sort of designer is this what sort of designer expects you to play it one way but don't fix it that you have to play it that way oh but it's open that you, you can play it any way you like clearly you can't play it any way you like because i'm playing it the way i like it and you tell me it's wrong and i went on for like 50 minutes ranting about this one thing my friends were on the floor in absolute tears of laughter and i was like fuck that game walked home and played fallout 3. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you still played it also i apologize if there are people watching the stream we're recording this for a podcast and i'm only on one monitor that see that's the big drawback here with one monitor especially if i'm recording a stream region i can't see the chat i don't know what's going on there so I'm sorry, people. Oh, I got the little violin for you. But actually, I don't, because <laughs> you can see. But I'll, I'll pretend that I do. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, basically that 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 was that that was how I started, and um, then I just kept practicing. I kept watching all my shows back. Um, I just started to go episodic. A lot of casters seem to do their shows where they just play a game. Mm -hmm. Where I went, okay, no, I'm going to say that we're going to do a show on this night. Like, Monday nights is newbie night. So on Mondays, we're going to answer questions. We're going to go through certain mechanics of World of Tanks, explain them, and we will finish after the hour. We will we'll do an hour and a half, answer questions, and finish the stream maximum two hours. Then on Tuesdays, we'll play with the fans, and we'll just play the game. And on Thursdays, we'll try and talk to professional players and interview people and arrange that sort of stuff. So that's cool. And it got became episodic, so you would turn up expecting certain content, and that's how I designed it. It didn't end up that way, or doesn't end up the way, because I'm not in control. You know, I got to flow with my other casters, and I had to talk to people, and um, that's the way things this the streaming works. You got to get a you got to get a show. It's not just streaming to people, and a lot of casters just stream, and they just people watch yeah. them play, and that's great for professional players, but not for casters. There is a total different mentality that you should have that people don't seem to have. People like Sploosh for uh, Air Mech is a professional player, not caster. He wants to be really good at the game, but he also thought he was a caster, and he's not really, because mm -hmm. he just plays the game and people watches him play the game. And he's trying to cast in tournaments, and he doesn't really cast, he just talks about the game. And that's, that's totally different. The guy is, is clearly talented as a player, and great watching him the other night on the Friday night uh, tournaments. Well, yeah. I say Friday nights, 4 a.m. for me! <laughs> the but, Saturday you know, morning tournament. <laughs> yeah, the Saturday morning tournament. Yeah, but it was it was great watching them play, and the mentality difference between the players that you watch that you're trying to become better by watching players play, that's great. Watch them because that's really cool. You're supporting that player, but don't expect to see good commentary. You've got to see the professional casters for that, and that's what you've got to. If you want to become a caster, to separate yourself. You're not a professional player. You won't be a professional player. If you want to be a professional caster, you do one or the other. Because if you're playing too much, you're not practicing your casting. You're not, you're not looking at the other stuff. You're not reading the forum. You're not getting into the community. And that's what you've got to do as the caster. You won't have enough time to do both. Day 9 had to retire from a professional player to become a caster. And people keep saying, hey, become a professional player again. We want to see you as a professional player. I bet you he'd lose half his audience becoming a professional player again because people want to watch him as a caster, not as a player. And it will take him ages because he cannot practice his StarCraft while he's doing the casting. Although he's seen the meta game evolve and he knows all about it, he's got to practice. And recently, he went through a phase of um, trying to play while casting, and his show wasn't that good. He did it for a few weeks in a row because he was really run down. He'd not taken a holiday. Then he took a holiday and came back and started casting again. And that is the difference. You're not just, you can't be a professional player and a caster. You can be a good player, and you should be a good player and a caster, because you've got to play the game. You've got to understand it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, d don't think you can do both. Uh, really think if you want to entertain the masses and be a clown, that's me, that could be you, do it. Cool. Don't think you're a professional player, because you won't ever be. You can yeah. be good. I'm a good tanks player, I'm not a great tank player, I'll never be professional. I'm good enough. I know how it works, and I I can talk the talk and sort of walk the walk. Well, I cripple, stumble, but you know <laughs> I, I can I can do it. And and don't be scared of laughing at yourself because if you don't laugh at yourself, someone else will take a quip at you, and and you you have to laugh then. And yeah. grow not grow a skin. I, I I always hate people say like oh just grow a thick skin. No no learn how to deal with it. Grow a thick skin is something that like remember the best armor or if you're sword fighting, if you directly take the power of the enemy's sword. He could snap your sword. He could dent your sword, ruining the sharpness of the blade, and he can snap it. Mm -hmm. The best way to do it is deflect. So the uh, other sword slide down the sword, and you push it away. Okay, for anyone who knows sword fighting, yeah, you can then push it away, and it you've done no damage to your sword, no damage to his sword. But now his defenses are down. You can counter strike. Cool. So learning how when someone takes the mick out of you, um, to deal with that rather than just shrug it off is much better because then you can use it. Stand-up comedians use the hecklers, the good stand-up comedians, again to help their show become better, not to ruin their show and become oh just thick-skinned. Uh, there's multiple ways to deal with it, but it depends on how you are. If someone calls you ugly, you're like, I know. Look at me, I'm freaking hideous, but you're pretty. You're pretty. Yeah, <laughs> you. You. I know. I know you are. You sit right there. You're pretty. And things like that. You know, you you just you don't. You don't shrug it off. You don't shrug it off. You just deal with it. And 
you learn how to deal with it because then it makes you stronger as a person. You understand why you can deal with it. You wear your life as a, as a armor, not hiding it. Because if you hide it and someone finds out about it, they use it against you, you're going to be ashamed of it, right? And don't do anything that you don't want other people to find out because you've put yourself in the spotlight. You're an entertainer. Don't yeah. complain about it later because you did it. You may not be proud of it, but then you can say that. And someone says, oh, when you were 12, you took drugs. I didn't, but someone did. And you're like, yeah, and? And then their joke is nullified now. They're trying to take the mick out of you for something you don't care about. Because it's, yeah. it's true, right? And that's really that's the sort of things you really got to do as a caster. You got to learn how to deal with things, not shrug it off, not ignore it, but to deal with it. Because that way you are going to be better as a person. And to learn to appreciate those different styles and different people that do different things. Work with your competitors, not against them. Don't diss your competitors because you want to replace them. Uh, compliment them and share the viewers because it shows you're the bigger person. It shows you that you're the person that really cares about the game and the community. And if you're good enough as a person, you practice enough and you, you look in the mirror and you sort yourself out and you, you talk to people, you, you stand up in front of people and you, you sing... Like, I'm a terrible singer, but I sing on my streams, right? Because yeah. one of the most self-conscious things a human can do is sing for the average person. Because you know you're, you're, the tone is so important. It's all you. It's your soul, as people say. So if you sing, you sound terrible. And people go, ah, oh, you sound terrible. And you're like, yeah, I know. But it's fun, isn't it? Singing is <laughs> it fun. It is. It's I know so I'm fun. tone deaf, but I still do it. <laughs> yeah, you do it. You, in the shower, everyone here, everyone, you, you, everyone, <laughs> sing in the shower, right? And you sound amazing. You sound amazing, right? I sound amazing in the shower. I sound amazing. You record it. You record. You listen back. You go, my God, do I sound like this? <laughs> I sound terrible. I sound terrible. I listen back to myself and go, my God, I sound terrible. And then you try and improve it. You 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 try and improve it. And that's the difference. Trying to improve yourself. You you hear yourself back and you try and improve it. You don't just go. Um, uh, you don't just go. Oh, well, I'm terrible. Well, yeah. Everyone, when they first do something, something is terrible, unless you're mm -hmm. naturally talented. And then people are super rare, really super rare. You, you, I'm not naturally talented at talking, not naturally talented at standing up in front of a crowd and not getting embarrassed. I still get embarrassed if people press the right buttons, and I'm not going to tell you what they are. <laughs> My wife can do it. She can do it expertly. No matter where we are, she can pull the rug from under me and make me blush. Oh, man, I'll tell you this one story, right? We yeah. were shopping for a, a table in ikea is it Ikea? no ikea that's a bloody tv program in, no 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 um, ikea is, no, it is. Uh, ikea yeah. is a place yeah. yeah okay cool i was in ikea <laughs> shopping for a table and there's this really low glass table we're walking mm -hmm. around and she's talking to me and i go walking straight into it cut my shin so hard because i walked fully into this table and looked away <laughs> i have to stop myself from falling through this glass table stand back and i go bright red start looking around do you know what my wife is doing during this time She's what? fallen over onto a sofa, laughing at the fact that I've gone bright red, walking into a bloody chin high table in the middle of Ikea. Really busy shopping centre. She didn't like, are you okay? My shins are bleeding. I've almost cut my trousers <laughs> because I walked into it so hard and I could have smashed the table up. No, she's laughing at me and she's never let me forget it. She never let me forget it. Do you remember that one time you went bright red in Ikea? Shut up, woman. You went, that one time. So funny, wasn't it? Shut up, woman. Yeah. Oh man, I, I've got one of those, but it would sound like a one-up and I don't want to do that. But if you want to hear a very <laughs> funny story, I, I have one for you. Go for it. Okay, um, have you seen the new 007 movie? I haven't yet, I really do want to see it. Okay, well without giving anything away from the movie, um, so... I've we're... seen reviews of it, so I've probably seen everything to do with the story. <laughs> yeah, All right. well we're in the theater and it hits the most climatic, sad part of the movie. I mean the saddest yeah. part. All right, and the theater is not full of people, but it does have enough people in it within a radius around us. Yeah. Well, here's what she decides to do. <laughs> she just turned around and gave me the look. Um, yes, yes, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> she's just giving me she's look. watching you right now, girl. Yes. You're not. You're not. You yeah, are. That not. exact you're face. Not. That exact face. Okay, so it's right there at that point, and then the silence breaks because they're fixing to start music. Well, she just. <laughs> Just that point to just let it fly, just <laughs> really loud too. It was the seat. It was the seat, right? <laughs> and but you no, know, here's the best part. No, no one really heard the fart. No one heard it, but they did she hear her laughing it. afterwards. She just started laughing so loud. 
really what's worse is when you adjust your seat at the exact time you seem to let one lift you go <laughs> and it looks like you adjusted to let it fly but you didn't it was just yeah. a complete fluke it was held in by your butt cheeks being stuck together <laughs> being on that seat and you stand up and go 